Welcome back lovely people. In today's video we're going to do all things shavening. Well I've received several questions from the videos that I have put out on how to answer the shavening questions and today I'm going to address all these questions so if you haven't yet watched the videos before now is a good time for you to first watch those and then come to this follow-up video because that's when it will be really helpful. So the first question that I have is, this is really helpful, but I must ask, is it a must to write the theme of your essay as a title before you begin writing the introduction? Hmm, very good question. But first, I want to thank all of you that have left comments, appreciating the content. It takes, of course, a bit of time to come up with the content. So thank you for always appreciating the content. Now, I've seen a number of aces that have put a title just because I placed a title as well. Please do not put the title or the theme at the beginning of your essays. It's just something that needs to be at the back of your mind that is to guide you as you write the essays. I also want to emphasize as you write the essays there may be four different questions but you have to have a similar theme through the questions as you answer the four different questions. So if you talked about let's say tourism in question one now is not the time for you to talk about medicine in question two or data ICT in question three or things like that. So have one particular theme throughout the questions and it's just that particular title is just for you to have at the back of your end. So if you've watched the videos, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, just go to the videos first to see how it is important for you to have a theme to run through as you're doing your questions. So the next question is what happens if your leadership skills don't match the course that you'd like to do? I'd still advise that to go ahead and write about your experience using the STAR concept. The STAR concept is very important as you are writing out your scholarship essays. The STAR concept is the situation, task, the action that you took and the results that you achieved from the action that was taken. So it's important that you write that out. It's, um, it's advantageous to have uh, leadership skills that you can tie back to what you're going to study so let me give an example of if you are mentoring a group of people and that is an example of leadership skills you could simply tie back that particular paragraph to how mentoring is important to the particular theme you have chosen even if that particular example of mentorship was not in your particular theme or Hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, put down the question in the comment section and I'll be able to address it as well. Then we had another question. With regards to working experience, must I present an evidence of working experience and can it be from self-employment? Yes, uh, self-employment is considered as work experience as well. And for evidence, you may put, as you submit your, your CV, you'll be asked for references or referees. So you'll have to put someone as a referee who can be able to back up your work. And this can also be a client if you are self-employed. The next question I have is, hello Faith, how can I contact you? I want you to kindly review my essays. Well, I do review essays and you can reach out to me through either my Instagram, there'll be an email as well in the description box. And this is at a fee and you can find all the details for that in the description box. But yes, I do review essays. I've reviewed several essays from you so far and still happy to review as many essays as possible. But with that said, still the content that I put out is still good enough for you to be able to write your own essay. If you still want me to go ahead and review the kind of essay that you've written, I'm open to that. But I'm I'm not holding back any information. I want all of us to win at this game. So be confident with the information that I am already putting out. Then thank you for sharing and it's awesome. May I ask how about UK priorities in my home country? If the question asks you to relate to what the UK is doing already in your home country, ensure that you incorporate that. If you listen to a number of my bonus tips, I also stress that a bit. Always make sure that you are meeting the criteria that is being asked for in the questions. 
and that's why if you've also watched the videos which i encourage you to do you're going to find that i break down break down the question in such a way that you're able to cover every aspect of that question so it's important to break down the question as well to make sure that you're covering every single aspect of the question this is a good one i have the desire to study msc in petroleum economics at university of Danby. however i have no experience in the energy sector what can i do this reminds me of my own experience i recall at the time when i applied for energy finance i didn't have experience in energy but i had experience in finance so if you have experience in economics that would be very good even if your bachelor's was in economics or if you have experience in petroleum just find a small link or the thinnest line between the two and be able to present a case as to why you want to study that particular course or field but it's not impossible just because you don't have specific experience you just need to find that thin line between the two if you can't find that thin line reach out to me let's have a consultation and i'll be able to guide you on how best you can answer your questions the next question is can i apply for shavening with a second class lower and the answer is yes you are able to apply for shavening with a second class lower the limitation though is with the university so make sure that the university and the course that you're applying for can be able to admit you even with the second class lower. So once the university accepts you, Shevening has no problem with your grade. It's rather how you have demonstrated your leadership, networking, career planning, and your reason for studying in the UK. How you demonstrate that is what is more important to Shevening. Um, the university, however, will be the one to dictate if they can be able to take you with a second class lower if you want one university that can't take you with a second class lower look for a university that's still under shavening that will be able to take you on with a second class lower the next question is do we have to select the theme on our own the answer is yes well the theme if you've gone through the videos of course you understand what the theme is now the theme is my own way of guiding you on how to write your own essay question it's not something that shavening is going to ask you or you're not going to find it anywhere else it's my own way of guiding you and the theme helps create a level of consistency through your essays so if you're talking about climate change and uh, economic development those become your particular theme so it's good to see the theme your theme stretch out from your first to the last essay so with this kind of consistency it helps you stand out more it helps the reader believe your passion a bit more so for example if i tell you that i do like public health and i want to study public health but when it comes to answering the questions i'm talking about things that are totally not even related to public health then you're going to find that it might be hard for you to compete competitively with someone else who has con been consistent in their way of writing and stressing areas of concern under public health so the theme is my own way of guiding you as you're writing to have it at the back of your mind it doesn't need to be stated anywhere it's just at the back of your mind as you are writing out your particular questions hope that's understood if it's not understood again put down in the comment section and i'll be able to respond to that as well how can i communicate with you privately do you have an email all those description box yes you can reach out to me and many of you have already done that i'm open to interacting and sometimes you just even have quick questions that i can answer and i will do that i'll just answer the quick questions that you have i won't charge for everything every time you come to ask me a question it's only when you need me to actually review your essays that i'll be able to put a fee to that all right so i think that's pretty much the questions for today if you have any other shavening questions feel free to ask under this particular video and i'll be able to respond or even any other videos that you watch across be able to ask again a bonus tip for today ensure you start early and start on time well the scholarship closes in november and it can be tempting for you to start towards the end but with experience i've seen that it takes a bit of time to write all these essays especially if you're not good at writing if you're like me and you are not good at writing 
make sure that you start early and start to develop your story a bit earlier one more bonus tip in the video you see me give at least one example of what nelson mandela could have written yeah however for a very good essay you need two to three examples and i believe with 500 words you can fit two to three examples so ensure that you have about two to three examples as you are writing out your own essay still very happy to assist reviewing your essays and if you're interested in that check the details in the description box until next time remember say it with me it might be hard but nothing is ever impossible